Hey everybody, good to see you back once again. Jumping right into it, it's drawbar time. I've spent the last couple days doing some refurb work on some of these pieces. I didn't show any of the disassembly on camera because it's pretty straightforward. And when you see me put it back together, you'll automatically know how it has to come apart. So one main thing I did find, we had some really egg-shaped holes down here at the end. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. They were so far out that I just chose the weld up and line bore method, trued them back out to inch and an eighth, good to go again right there. Also had to throw some camouflage on some repro parts right here. These are available from ACMOC. This is the wear shoe that goes inside the opening right there and takes all of the you know scrubbing action abuse that happens on the swing plate. Um, yeah, you can see they just show up raw metal like that, so we threw some camouflage on there so it doesn't entirely stick out so we have the new shoe and then these are the drawbar pins that go in those holes on each side of the drawbar hold it in position last i checked acmoc still has these shoes for d2 i didn't see the pins for d2 but they also have the pins and shoes for d4 as well so handy parts to have because these are usually always gone so to put it together yeah drawbar just goes into the front bracket you see the front bracket has a couple of threaded holes there and there that is for the long bolts, the peg bolts, I call them, that hold in the drawbar pin. So you'll see the pin has a cutout on each side of it. When the pin is installed and those bolts go in the holes, they just, the peg portions line up with those cutouts in the pin, one on each side, holds the pin in. Also, too, I should mention that one end of the pin is threaded, so you can actually pull it. And I had to put a puller on this one to get it out. When it was all rusty, it was pretty tight. But once you get everything cleaned back up, it should just be a loose fit in there. We can get this much of it bolted to the bottom side of the tractor now. I left the mounting bracket loose underneath so we have some play in the drawbar. It makes the next step easier. So the wear shoe goes in and the swing plate. And with everything tight, swing plate and bracket up underneath, we've got good swing. So it's nice to have that wear shoe under there. We can install the limiting pins there and there. So drawbar is complete. Now that we have all right, correct, and proper here, let me show you its arch enemy. Yeah, right here. This is a D2 drawbar, or what's left of it. This is beer can D2, all right? From this main bearing fame right here with the black slide beer. So, oh man, the old beer can D2, 3J number 2219. That would have been the D2 that lives in infamy had that been in my YouTube days. Um, I don't even have a picture of it now. It was a sight to behold, let me tell you. So this is the drawbar, the left side, bracket and what's left of the swing plate off of that poor old D2. I don't know how things get this bad after starting out like that. They turn into this, but let's get these apart, have a little bit better look. Um, we'll just start with 
well, what's left of the bracket and the swing plate, broken off ear on top, heavy welding, piece of metal added there, added there, another one added right there. Um, I don't even know why, but they cut these big notches out of the swing plate. Bolts were long ago gone, so we just welded all that together. Um, we've got an old bolt welded on there, maybe for a swing stop. I don't know. We had this upright put on, old bolt here. That had been cut off so long ago, I don't even have the rest of that. We have the U-bolt on the heavy angle bracket with a chain upright for something. I don't know. These guys were loggers. They were doing a lot of stuff in the woods. We look at what's left of the drawbar. So we're D2 drawbar to about here. You can see where it broke. Look at that old school craftsmanship welding right there. <laughs> it's, oh, it's really something to behold. And they added, well, they broke the hole into the drawbar right off. That ends about there. Then they added, it looks like at least one inch thick steel for there, and they still bent it and broke it and welded it again. Look at the welding here, the extra metal added on the old brake. I don't know if you can tell, but the drawbar actually has like a twist in it. If it looks like it goes about like that. So we're nice plumbing level right there, but you sight down, you can start seeing the bottom edge of it. So it's twisted and it's bent and it was broken and we added gobs of more metal and we still somehow mangled it so what can I say that's the beer can D2 worst straw bar I've ever seen moving just a little higher up now let's begin work on another cat factory option piece that's going to attach right here be powered by that six blind PTO shaft it happens to be this the angle drive belt pulley so the neat part is we look in the parts manual and you see 4B7948 belt pulley drive group with pulley. We've got some old stenciling still legible, 4B7948. So the first thing I need to do is get the pulley off. We'll flatten back the lock. And then remove the nut. Use the puller now to get the pulley off of the shaft. These usually aren't that tight. They're just a straight shaft with a key, so no taper to have to release anything like that. Peel the long square key out and the oil seal sleeve. Looks pretty good. Up on top here is the oil fill cap and it doubles as a breather. These things are kind of neat. I've been into them before. Oh, I think it's gonna be black in there. Standing up on in now, let's take the back cover off. Get a better view inside. Yes, that's the old school dinosaur grease for sure. Gears though look pretty good. I can still see the hobbing marks on these sides, so that must be coast. So drive side is over here. And yeah, they're all, there's no spalling, nothing like that going on. A little bit of backlash. Doesn't look too bad yet. Take both of the main shaft bearing cap covers off next. Next, we've got this spring lock on the spanner nut. Get it out of the way. Spanner nut comes off now. And then this set screw, this is what locates and retains the outer Hyatt bearing race.
And now you can see how I've got this puller set up. We are set up to push on the end of the main shaft. What's going to happen is the gear out there is going to push on the outer race of that Hyatt bearing. So the shaft, the bearings, and the gear and everything will all go straight out that side. Okay, input shaft and gear is all that is left. Lock has been folded flat. Same nut that holds the pulley on. And the fold over lock. The gear has to pull off next and thankfully they provided us with two threaded pulling holes. Gear out. And woodroof key. We got something else down here. Yep, looks like got a shim. Next is this large snap ring that holds the bearing in. And now we can bump the shaft out. Oh boy, we're making messes. We'll set that back in there until it's done dripping off. Okay, everybody. Yeah, we've got another mess to clean up now. Lots of parts and pieces need to go through the solvent pan. But uh, the only other thing I did off camera was I pulled the input seal out and the output shaft seal and got those numbers crossed. New seals are on order on their way right now. So that's good. Um, all the bearings seem all right. I'll know better after I get them all cleaned up, but if I get those clean, they spin good and are nice and tight and look good. I don't even think I'm gonna press those off the shaft. These old Hyatt bearings are extinct. This one doesn't you know, show any signs of any damage or anything wrong, so we had enough good old sticky grease in there that there's no rust. There wasn't any moisture inside. I don't think anything here is gonna be bad at all. We got the drawbar refurbed and put on 1113, plus brought a little bit more notoriety to the old beer can D2. All in all, I'd say it was a pretty good day. So that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you back again.